Good morning everyone. Today we're gonna be working on my 2003 Subaru Forest. So before we start working on this car, let me just tell you a little bit about it. Um, I acquired this car three months ago, I think now. Um, it's a 2003 Subaru Forester 2.0 XT. It's an EJ20, um, 177 brake horse when, when new, not now probably. Um, we got a few bits and bobs that we're gonna have to replace or repair. So by no means is, you know, top condition, but I always wanted one and this one pop up and I, had to have it. I it was something that I had to do. It was something that whether it was the right choice, the wrong decision, I just I just had to do it. So um today we're gonna be doing wheel bearing on the um rear so near side rear. It's gonna be a pain in the ass but that that's what it's all about isn't it? Well I'll tackle all the easy bit and just you know jack it up and take the wheel off. I don't like to jack it up on the seal but well this time has to do uh, I've got one jack stand just there on that bolt you can see there and another one on the tow bar so this is here just for looks at a minute well from here then we're gonna have to remove quite a lot of bits uh, it's gonna be a bit tedious to be honest but we'll see um, I've been soaking the uh, bolts and nuts probably for the last three four days anyway so for stars we're gonna have to remove the caliper the caliber carrier, the disc, and uh, I'll show you after that anyway. So we're gonna start taking apart now the caliper. This is a 14 mil. Turn this off. So we can remove both of them, just don't lose them. And there we go. Should be able to remove this. Let's just set her here and go and get a cable ties. Normally what I do is just put it through one of the holes, bring it up and for example we can use this one here That's perfect that huh? That's right out of the way. Now we need to take our brake pads off. There you go. Just pull them out. We can give them a quick clean before we put them back on after we finish with everything. Well, there we go. Another one out. Okay, now we're going to need to remove them two here, which is your caliper carrier, which I don't really remember what size they are. So I'm assuming they're going to be probably like 17. Let's see if we can make it easier with this one. Yeah, I think with, uh, with a little friend here, they were 14 as well. See if you can see it. There's one out. The only difference between the uh, caliper carrier and the caliper bolt is that they're a bit thinner. You can see caliper carrier, caliper. 
So let's see if we can get the bottom out, which it seems like it's going to be a job for this. So we'll see how many attempts we need to do. Another one out. There we go. One thing that I noticed, let me show you, is that my um, wait that so my slider look that goes in and out perfectly right this one doesn't so what we'll do i'll show you in another video anyway we're gonna remove this okay and we're just gonna clean inside here and then we're gonna put it back i'll show you how to do that in uh, another video anyway the next thing now is remove the disc, as you can see, I mean, it's even better days, but at the minute they're fine, I'm not going to change them. Okay, and here is where things are starting getting a bit tricky. So, as you can see, we got a handbrake assembly here, or ABS um, disc or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is where it becomes the signal, as you can see down there. Yep, perfect with that sensor there. So what we're going to have to do now is remove this one, this clip here and this one here, then remove them, and then we might be able to just remove the whole assembly and start actually getting to uh, the back of it. Which is going to be such an amazing, fun time, no swearing at all. Just pure happiness, sunshine and rainbows. So yeah, I can't wait for it. So, long story short, I got the tool to do this. So I can actually remove it the first time. No issues. But, but it's usual when you actually need it. You don't bring it, so yeah, let's let's struggle for a bit until we get this off. Okay, so them two are off now. Bit of a wiggling with this ones, and uh, he came off. So now the next point is going to be to remove them off. So we'll uh, we'll see if we can actually do it. Not. There we go, one out. Let's see if we can do the other one with this hand. Won't be able to swap hands, put you in the other hand. Don't even know if I'm actually focusing on what I'm doing, but yeah. Fuck, that was my finger. Come on, you little thing. I like the fact that they were yellow at some point. Okay, so I managed to get them off. Uh, funny thing is that the one on the uh, left is blue. And the one on the right is yellow. I don't know if it means anything. Which is less good to, re you know, to remember that. This piece here goes right back here, so it holds basically them two, right? One hooks in here and one hooks in there. Remember that you got a spring and it goes on this side, okay? So now you can see here the pins that I was on about before. There's one here, which I remove in a second, and then there's one there as well, okay? So now the important bit 
is to get this handbrake cable off what we're gonna have to do is try to either pull it from here okay so we pull from here while I'll show you it's better that I'll show you okay so one of the best things I found to do was grab from that pull with your other hand you can see and then just get off through there okay just remember this one with the hook for the handbrake goes on the uh, back side because we're starting to take a lot of things off and then we won't remember where they go so it's good that I'm recording it as well because I'll probably forget so let's get these pins out so we don't lose them there's one there and one here one thing as well that I would recommend is since we're doing all of this right now all the parts that we're taking apart before we put them back let's clean them all grease them and then put them back together and since i noticed that the slider on this side on the caliper was a bit sticky i probably will check the one on the other side once this job is done okay here's where the front part starts because this could be a really fucking nightmare As I said, it was going to be quite a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, this one, you can see the bush is split there, so I'm going to probably have to press a new bush in there. So don't really care if I burn this one, let's say. Um, so let's try this one while um, I lubricate that one and let it sit for a bit. One less to worry about. Let's try now the big boy. Well, as you can see, I jumped to plan 2051. I'm burning the shit out of the actual um, bush. I need to be careful. I put this aluminium plate here so I don't burn the actual uh, CB boot. No, it's just there. And then we got another bush in here, this side, which I've been trying to burn at the back of it. And it seems like it's working anyway. Well, would you look at that? I managed to get it off. I tried everything I could. And tried with that one, I tried with the other one. They were just seized basically. What did they put? No, yeah. It was seized on these slaves. Sleeves, sorry. Um, it was just on these sleeves, as you can see. The other one is still there, but I can just press it out with that, so there's not a big of an issue. Um, I took the um, axle out as well. I will clean this as well before I put everything in. Now, I should have maybe done it before, but I'm going to show you now something that you might have to be careful with which is here this is your abs sensor okay so it goes through there and you might think that this plate will come out with this or so i did anyway so what you have to do is be really careful so you you don't damage that one what i did it goes right the back of us so what i did is i put this a small screwdriver down here so basically, I think I did a bit of a mark, or maybe not. Oh yeah, I'm there. So just basically rise up a bit more. And then I try to gently wiggle that, even though it's metal, be careful. And then I put a bit bigger screwdriver underneath, right? So just sort of pry it a bit. And then again, with a small screwdriver, I put a bit of a tape on the end and just tap here. So basically, you put it in here and just tap it gently and it will come out but yeah they are fucking pain in the ass to get off when i mean probably this is the original one so it's almost about 20 year old as you can see so it wasn't 
as easy as I thought it would be. So now we just need to remove the uh, handbrake cable from it and we'll be ready to press the hub off and then press the bearing off and then get the new bearing, press it in, press the hub in and then assemble the whole thing together. As well, I removed... Um, it got to a point where I didn't record all the things because I was just fucking annoyed with everything. So, <laughs> so basically... So here you go, your shock absorber. Basically, you go 219 bolt here, not this way, bolt here, not this way. 1919, 1919. You take that off. Then you've got you've got a 32 mil um, nut, which goes here, which supports basically your um, axle. So there's a new one coming with it anyway. So we'll be replacing that as well. And I'll show you, as soon as I get this off, I'll show you the um, the bearing. If you live in the UK like me, or in places where the weather is really bad in winter, most of the things are going to be seized, mostly if your car is old like mine. So it was a bit of a struggle, I'm not going to lie. Um, being the first time as well, anyway. It has a clip, for starts, that it goes, as you can see, let me see if I can get in it. So you can see that there so it just goes in here okay and basically hooks in here the only thing is that in normal conditions you should be able to get this pin out which i'm going to replace anyway um and then just pull from here and then will come out what i had to do basically this bit here was seized with here so I got a small screwdriver, tried to get underneath, sort of the same thing that we did with the ABS sensor. And then just basically tap it, tap it, tap it. And then I used like a small, I don't know where the fuck I put it anyway, but like a small pry bar and just put it between here and here and then just gently tap it and it came off. What I'm going to do is clean and lubricate all these bits, all the bolts, all the nuts, all the washers before I put anything back in, just in case I need to remove anything. I don't want to have to go through the whole same process. Anyway, now that this is off, you can see here, all wheel bearing. So basically you got one outer seal, one inner seal, and then we can push this out. Okay, on the other side, there's one seal as well, just like black one like this one, and there's a circle pin as well. So we're gonna have to remove that, put it, and then I got the set comes with a new one, so we're not gonna bother on keeping that one. Um, and yeah, basically that's it. What I would like to do before I press the uh, bushes in into the arms is actually clean them inside. As you can see, they still got some rubber in it. So I'm going to probably just try to, well, I mean, it's coming off as you can see like this, but what I would like to do is get a bit of uh, sandpaper and clean it all inside here properly before we put anything in. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is pressing the bush into the arm. What I did was put a bit of copper grease just inside. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I just find this a bit easier to as you know, it lubricates and slides in. Let's double check that is the right size. Seems like it. So, what we're going to be using is this tool. We're going to use this tool. So, basically, this will grab in here with a 14mm socket, will in theory press the bush in and get it in place. So, let's, let's have a go. Let's see if it actually does it. All right, so I've got my 14 socket here and let's see what happens. As you can see, it's been a success. Bush is in. So, Let's repeat the process. Now that we got our bushes pressed, which this one was quite easy, this one was a bit hard, I'd say. And we got a bearing as well, so you can see the brand new one in and pressed, which I would say to you, um, 
basically the way to do it is you have to press first the hub which is this one here and then on the other side there's a circle of pin which you need to remove and then actually press this the actual bearing off so what we do now is get the uh, handbrake cable back in which i got a new pin anyway as well i got two so i got one for the other side and then we're going to be putting our abs sensor which is going right here so i put the handbrake cable back in with a new clip make sure that that's nice and, and tight in there I put the abs sensor back in just be careful with that one don't damage it and now it's going to be a bit tricky to put it back in and to record it but we'll see what i'm going to do is put the axle through the hub and then put the bolt in the shock absorber so we can hold it just be careful with all the wires and all that kind of thing don't break anything <laughs> I can't see what you can see anyway so what we're gonna do is jack the knuckle up so it aligns with the two lateral uh, arms and then put the new bolt through here all the way to there and then we'll do this bottom one as well and that one should be that should be everything in reality because basically what we have to do later on is just Attach the ABS cable to this arm. Then it's a bracket as well for the um, handbrake, which is here. Um, and then after that would be just rebuilding the rear brakes. So it's not too bad, not too bad. As you can see, everything is back together now. All nice and talk. So we just need to put the shoes back on now, put the disc, caliper carrier, caliper wheel, talk that and hopefully we should be good. All the handbrake assembly now is back on. This is this one's always a bit of a pain in the ass to do them. Mostly because the tool that I've got is too big together. So normally you just press them in, twist it and all done. But if you look at it, it goes, you got here. Let's see if you can see it. And there, and there. So you can put something like, like this, and then press it in, like if you grab it from the side, press it in and twist it. So let's put the uh, caliper carrier and the caliper wheel and go for a test drive and we'll see. <laughs> 